Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry I look like uh, crap this morning. Uh, I'm not feeling good from yesterday. But I wanted to come in and do this DIY um, party decoration tutorial for you. I am going to be making jellyfish lanterns out of a paper lantern and some... Uh, they're like leaf decorations that look like this. So if you want to see how it's made, uh, keep watching. All right, so the items that you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a paper lantern. I got this off of Wish for a dollar. If you want to see that haul, go ahead and check my previous video, um, Wish Haul, and you will see that there. You're going to need um, some uh, like paper. You could use you could use the streamer stuff if you want to. Or I got these like leaf kind of um, decorations and they look like this when they are opened up and I thought these would look better as the tentacles for the um, jellyfish. You're also going to need a hot glue gun as well as extra glue. You're going to need a pair of scissors, and that's pretty much it. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up your paper lantern according to the directions that come with it, which is just very simple directions. And once you have that all set up and your hot glue is ready, it is time to assemble. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this up so that you guys can see what I am doing. And yeah, so then what I did was I took, I'll pull this one out so that you can see it. I got this from Wish as well. So this is what it looks like when you open it from the package. It's pretty much just like a leaf kind of pattern. Um, as far as, you know, what it is. So when you open it up, I took off the tabs that were on the top of it and the bottom of it. And I cut them into I cut them into like strips of nine so it's like nine of these going across that way as well as like eight so they're two different sizes only dropped down by one um, and then the leftovers from it, what I did was I took the leftover piece that was pretty much left like this. I cut it down the center uh, and took off the extra and this is what's going to wrap around the part down here to kind of hide everything that you're gluing on. So let's get started. All right, so I have my little lantern hanging up with just some twine for right now. And yes, I am using my kitchen cabinet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the larger pieces that I cut and I'm going to, cause see it would sit out like this. I'm going to fold this right here. Pretty much go to like, fold it like that. I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to put a bead of glue on it so that it looks like that. And then 
I am going to simply take it and attach it right to the paper lantern. Just gonna wanna hold it there for a little bit until it adheres. So just like that. So now I'm going to turn it going to take a smaller one go pretty much close to it and I'm going to do the same thing so again I'm going to fold it I'm going to take some glue put it on and I'm going to attach it. I'm going to try to overlap them. I just want to hold it there until it glues down. So then it's going to start to look like this. So then we're going to turn it. I'm going to take a another long one and do the same thing. I didn't have a whole lot of glue in my glue gun. So now I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to take a, another small one and do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead, go through and do this and I will be back when I'm ready for the next step. All right, so your next step of what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to hide those pieces that you glued on and I do apologize for the light my light in the kitchen is not working so you're gonna hide those pieces with that little strip that you cut so I just attached it right there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the same I'm going to put some glue right here Sorry, I thought somebody was knocking at the door. Okay, and I'm going to attach that right there. Hold it in place. Then I'm going to take my glue gun again with the other piece, put some glue on it. Wrap it around and attach it just so that that way that hides any glue marks that are there. This is going to be the back of my lantern, uh, my jellyfish dude, so that's okay. And I will show you the final result. So that is the uh, final jellyfish. Again, this is a DIY birthday party jellyfish decoration. Um, you've got short pieces, you've got long pieces, uh, you can go in and trim it up if you want it to all be the same length. 
I'm just going to go through and just double check mine afterwards. Um, but yeah, so this is how it came out. I saw this originally on Pinterest. I figured I'd give it a try. Again, in Pinterest, they use the crepe paper um, and like ribbon, but I was trying to go cheap as possible. So between the lantern and this, that was a dollar. And I still have, you know, enough to start for the next one as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick DIY jellyfish tutorial for your birthday parties. Um, again, this is, I'm doing a mermaid theme for my daughter's two year birthday that we're doing on the 12th. And I figured I would go ahead and make the decorations for under the sea. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.